students i'm aditi and today i'm going to share something very interesting with you we all deal with many types of things in our day to day life don't we from soap to bread can you imagine all the types of things that we use daily can you have you ever wondered how all these things came into present form do you ever think how many processes it must have taken for these things to come in their correct form imagine what people were doing before all these things were being available to us i am sure you must be thinking what i am trying to say to you aren't you so don't get confused just hold on as i take you all through a very interesting journey of mankind with science before i do this it is very important for me to explain you all that what science actually is Let us start with the word science itself. How did it come into use and what does it mean? The word science is derived from the Latin word scientia meaning knowledge. Science is a quest for truth, a systematized body of knowledge. a way of life science has been a quest for ages our perception of science has also changed over the years and newer developments have taken place and older ones have become obsolete simply put science is the reason why early man has changed into the civilized man of today early man lived in caves where he used to hunt animals with sharp weapons created from stone and bone man used to eat surrounding plants and eat raw flesh just like animals do today man was a keen observer and learned by observing nature he saw that by rubbing stones together sparks fly and he learned to utilize it He burnt dry leaves and twigs to make fire and cook food. Early man who observed and experimented his surroundings to obtain results may be considered as our first scientist. The essence of being a scientist is to observe things critically and search for a reason behind everything. They question, why is it like this and why not like that? In this process they collect the necessary information and conduct many experiments to verify their results early man while wandering observed seedlings flowers fruits and seeds all these were part of his food after observing the germinating seeds he learned to sow seeds and raise crops he invented tools to make it work easy Man started observing, discovering and exploring different things in his surroundings. As his experience grew, he developed a pool of scientific knowledge and gradually reached a higher civilized modern stage of today. To protect himself from cold, sun and rain, early man used leaves and animal hides to cover his body. Later, He used clothes made of yarn. Cotton, silk and wool are also natural fibers. Cotton thread is obtained from cotton plant. Silk threads are from silk worms and wool from sheep. Nowadays, artificial fibers like rayon, nylon, decron, terin and polyester are synthesized using chemistry, which is a branch of science. Why do we need these artificial fibers? 
Well, our population is growing very fast and the most economical way of fulfilling our needs is to copy what nature gives us. Creating artificial fibers is a way to copy with this population growth. Don't you think nature will find it difficult to sustain all of us for a very long time if the population growth rate keeps increasing? Man needs shelter to protect himself from heat, cold, rain, wind and animals. Early man lived in caves and tree holes and then with experience he learned how to build huts. Slowly he gathered more information and learned various methods of constructing houses. Now see what man can build. I am sure you must have seen tall buildings around the city. Don't we all just love traveling in our car or cycling with our friends in the park? Remembering the nursery rhyme, the wheels on the bus go round and round and round. Well, this rhyme makes us remember what a crucial role wheel plays in our lives. was invented centuries ago when civilization was developing and with that started industrial revolution. The invention of wheel and machinery using wheel type of structures playing a magnificent role in bringing us to where we are today. Needless to say the invention of wheel was the foundation of current transportation system. Bullock carts, cycles, motorcycles, cars, buses, trains, etc. Everything needs wheels, one of the most important scientific discoveries of mankind. It started from bullock cart and then changed to bicycles, which with the help of science changed to scooters, bikes, then to cars, trains, ships and planes. Just like transportation, the means of communication like radio, telephone, TV, cell phone, internet are bringing people around the world come closer to each other. We can say that the world is shrinking as we can access all location via internet. These modern means of communication and transportation have helped the country to progress in trade and economy tremendously. Let me introduce you to a major part of science which has given us the strength to think and work. Medicine is nothing but role of science in our daily life to keep us healthy and fit. Let us look at this carefully now. Louis Pasteur, an eminent scientist proved the presence of microorganisms, microbes in air, water and soil. Let us start by looking at the tiny microorganisms which were discovered by Louis Pasteur. He found these microbes in soil, air and water. These harmful microbes were capable of causing deathful diseases. To protect ourselves from these diseases, vaccines were invented. Smallpox is eradicated from our country by vaccination. Now, polio is being eradicated through the program called Plus Polio, 
in which polio drops are administered to all children. Many children are protected from diphtheria, whooping cough and tetanus by giving them a vaccine called DPT which is triple antigen. Alexander Fleming discovered an antibiotic called penicillin which helped in controlling many diseases. We all have gone to hospital for one or the other reason. What do you see there? You must have seen machinery and equipments all over the hospital being used for various types of diagnosis. Science has invented ways to look inside the human body to tackle diseases. Machines such as X-ray, ultrasound, MRI all are used for this purpose. Diseases can easily be deducted and various tests can be conducted within a matter of few seconds. Science has helped us in dropping in faint mortality rate, controlling diseases and increasing the average lifespan of human beings. Currently, the research is going on to invent suitable drugs for deathful diseases like cancer, AIDS, etc. You can see that over the years the scientific invention has brought about many changes in our lives. This progress had made our lives simpler by giving us options to get accurate results in a shorter period of time. This helps save time, money and effort. For example, the method of travelling was once bullock carts and now we have the options of travelling via bus, train or plane. The invention of electricity has been incredible for us. We use light bulbs or tubes to illuminate our house. We use heaters to keep us warm and coolers or ACs to drive away the heat during hot summer's day. The invention of TV sets has also played a vital role in bringing us updated minute to minute world news. As well as global entertainment via live telecasts of distant events around the world. Did you watch the World Cup soccer held in South Africa recently? Well, all this is the result of the invention of electricity, my friends. The growth in science and technology has led to industrial development. Now, these industries are trying to meet the varied needs of the growing population of the world. For example, the need for vaccination and medicines is always on the rise with newer strands of disease being found by the scientists. New research is required to look into newer problems and hence the formation of new industries. Now we have industries for fertilizer factories, power generating centers, oil refining factories, iron and steel factories, pharmaceuticals, coil industries, automobile manufacturer industries, etc, etc. Now, let me ask you a question. How do you get energy for all your day-to-day -day activities? Yes, that is right. It is the food that we take which provides with the energy to conduct our day-long activities. It is very important that we learn about how science helps us in food production. This is where our day begins and ends. So let us study it further. The cultivation of crops using traditional means was not sufficient to meet the needs of growing population today. So science came to rescue us again and helped us in bringing out more advanced versions of seed that can give us more produce and were disease resistant. With that we had green revolution in our country. Not only this but with research the scientists have made better variety for animals too. 
who can produce more milk and flesh. Even the hens are laying more eggs and so on. Science has given man the equipments and machinery which has made agriculture work such as irrigation, harvesting and storage. Surely science has solved many problems and made human life far more comfortable. But due to man's indiscretion and carelessness, the same science has been misused and created several problems such as environmental pollution, overpopulation, etc. etc. It has also created deadly nuclear weapons which are threatening world security. The use of nuclear weapons produce radioactive dust which is severely harmful if not lethal to human beings, plants and animals. Man is responsible for all the environmental pollution caused due to the excessive and uncontrolled use of pesticides, artificial fertilizers as well as the smoke emitted from the vehicles and industrializations. All this is causing harm not to just our environment but also to other living forms, leading to diseases and even extinctions. Science should be used for the welfare of all living forms and for creating peace amongst each other. Science should be usefully not just in the substance of human life but as well as for other living beings. Mankind should adopt the principle of live and let live for leading his life. Though science has developed so much, some superstitions are still prevalent. For example, avoiding polio drops for the fear of death sacrificing humans for some personal or communal benefits etc. Man should analyze such superstitions and overcome blind belief with the use of scientific knowledge which will be one step forward towards our progress in the future. Today we have learned the most important chapter in science and that is its role in daily life. Scientific inventions are present in our day-to-day -day routine, which we take for granted, don't we? From TV to electricity to cars to computers, everything is always there for us to use. But do we use them appropriately? Let us all make a pact that we will not misuse these inventions and we will also teach others to utilize them in an efficient manner. Scientific inventions should be an essent for our society and not a curse. As good citizens, we have to do our duty in making this happen. So, bye for now and keep thinking in a rational way. We will meet with another interactive topic on science next time. So, bye.